What is no bottom shelf? 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 What is what is no bottom shelf? What is it? What's going on, everybody? I would like to say hello and welcome to another episode of the No BS Podcast. I am your host, Mr. Jordan Pierce. And today is going to be a little mini episode, man. Um, I normally record these at night. Now it's in the morning. I'm a little, so I got my tea right here with me for those of y'all that's watching. Um, but it's just going to be a little mini episode because I ain't been feeling the greatest one. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know if it's the allergies. That's what I think it is. Um, it's just mucus. It's just congested a lot. Um, but regardless, I still want to give you all an episode. Um, cause I still got a lot to talk about. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much today just talk about like just my um, like where where I've been at in this journey, like what I'm currently trying to do. Um, just kind of like give you all like an update, you know, about like my journey to my no bottom shelf lifestyle right now. Um, so like, as you know, um, I'm in the process of trying to get this book done. Like I finished writing. Um, so I just right now I'm in the process of trying to get it edited and, um, and then go from there. Obviously, I got to do a little more tweaks to it and stuff like that. Um, but trying to get it edited. That way I can um, try to get the book out by this year. That's the goal. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but whatever God has in store, that's going to happen. Like I said, the plan is this year. We'll see. Um, and yeah, uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. A lot of things been happening, though. A lot of good things. Um, excuse me. I guess you could say I've been networking a little bit, right? And like not meaningful to be honest like I'm, i haven't been purpose i guess you could say networking with a purpose it's just been kind of like happening organically and i'm kind of meeting the people i need to meet so that way i can be in the spaces that i want to be in and it's funny because i was talking to my boy last night and like he he mentioned something that was so it just hit me like i didn't even think of it this way before it was like um None of this started happening. Like the people I'm starting to meet, the the process of, you know, like I said, getting the book done, and even having the opportunity, the opportunities that I'm having, which I'm so happy for. And like I have somebody in mind that I want to write my forward, and it's a shot in the dark because I don't know this person, um, and. Who knows like how it's going to happen, but I really want this person to write my forward. And just so happens that I met somebody who is a like basically is a phone call away from this man. So it's I feel like it's just amazing. Um, it's just alignment on a whole nother level. Um, and I, like I said, that's one of the chapters in my book. I talk about alignment and it's crazy because like I've been getting to alignment very organically like like yeah I, yeah don't get wrong i did it with a purpose but at the same time a lot of things that are happening are not with a purpose so when i was talking to my boy last night he um he brought something to my attention basically saying like when god wants you to do something or he he he, he put something in you i'm paraphrasing because it basically just I don't remember exactly what he said. I'm sure he said it so much more potent. But basically, when God puts something in you or gives you like a, I don't want to say an order, but yeah, like gives you something to, okay, I, this is what you need to be doing. Like gives you your purpose, gives you your vision. And then you start acting on it. After you start acting on it, then he starts what I like to call showing out, but he starts putting in the work. Like he's like, all right, this is what, once I see you doing what you need to do, then I'm going to do more for you. So I didn't start, uh, put it this way. I met this person at my job. Who's a friend of a friend, I guess, basically you could say of the person that I want to write my forward, but I didn't meet this person at my job. And I didn't know, well, first of all, I didn't even get the job. Because I got, I'm in a new position. I didn't even get the job until I started writing a book. 
that's that's crazy. Like when I thought about that last night, that blew my mind because I started like I was just in like a standstill with everything with no BS and everything like that. I was in a standstill, complete standstill. But I started literally saying, you know what? I'm gonna write this book. I'm gonna get it done. Like everything is gonna be okay. And I literally started writing a book, like seriously, seriously about. I want to say last, mm, last like Septemberish, I think somewhere around there. It's been almost a year. When I still like when I started writing, literally taking a book very, very seriously. I'm talking every day writing, every day doing research, stuff like that, right? And literally, after doing that consistently, I got this new job in November. This is how it works. I got a new job in November. And I think by like mid to late December, January, me and this person started connecting. And then now I find out the network this man has. And it's it's crazy. And I'll talk about this more because I'm pro- I might even put this in my book, to be honest, because this is a lot. It's, it's, it's just basically uh, like I talk about in the process of alignment that that's the current process I'm in. I'm currently just in alignment because obviously I'm not living my no bottom shelf lifestyle every day. I got to go to work still. Um, not saying I hate my job, but it's not something I want to do for the rest of my life. So it's not like my lifestyle that I'm designing. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not there yet. So, um, the, what's happening is I'm in alignment, but like things are just following, falling into place. And I speak on that. Like when you're in alignment and you're doing the right things to get you to where you want to go, things are just going to start happening. And you call it God, you can call it the universe, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Like I said, I think God is definitely showing out right now. Definitely showing out. That's why then when that happens, you just gotta you just gotta keep putting yourself in alignment in other ways and keep the momentum going. So that's the process I'm in right now. I'm in I'm trying to keep this momentum going, get this book edited, get it done. I really like I said, I'm praying on it still. I really want this book to be out in September. I'm not sure. Um, if that will happen, but that's just my personal goal. Um, right now, as I'm recording this, we're in, where are we in? we in May, the end of May. So hopefully we'll see, um, how that goes, but that's just, this alignment thing is beautiful. Like when you sit back and think about it and you get to this point, when you find out who you are and you know your purpose and, uh, you identify where you want to go, like you, it's clear, your vision's clear and you start like just putting yourself in alignment, you know, things just start happening at a rapid pace. Like I didn't see myself. I thought it was going to be a minute before I got this book done or something like that. And it got done. I uh, like, I thought it was a, I mean, it still is low key. Don't get me wrong. I thought it was a shot in the dark to get this man to write my forward. And I still don't know. I have no clue who this man is. I still got to find a way to get in front of his face. So that way he can at least know of me and stuff like that. So that's the process that I'm taking right now. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't look that far fetched now, like from before, because now it's like, OK, I have a kind of a mutual friend, if you can say it that way. So, yeah, man, this this being in alignment is is a beautiful thing. And it's a uh, a piece of the puzzle that is necessary. And this is a piece of the puzzle that you never stop. You, you're never not in alignment or, or it's just let me not say that you you're never not getting into an alignment with with your goals because your goals are always changing you you're you get new goals and new things new ideas stuff like that so it's it's a never-ending process i'm just happy that i'm in it to be honest <sighs> take some more tea um i'm just happy that i'm in it because like i said it's a beautiful beautiful process and i love it um and that's where i'm at with it right now man uh like I said, the book is is it's a process, but it's get it's gonna get done. It's gonna get edited. Um so yeah, then like the next steps would be getting it out to like a study group of people that didn't read it, give me some comments, some feedback, stuff like that. So I can put that in the book uh, towards the end and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, it's a process, but it's it's coming along. I'm happy, I'm I'm excited. Um for uh, like by what's what's been happening lately. Um, how this, when I sit back and look at just the things that are happening as far as like the alignment piece of it, it's, 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 it's crazy, man. Like, I can't even, 
it's hard to put it in words, but it's crazy how things just start happening that way. Um, so I guess you could say my message today in this podcast is when you start doing the work, when you realize what it is that you're supposed to be doing, when you realize your goals, when you realize the path that you should be taking and you start acting on it, you start taking action, like every little detail, you start doing things every single day. And if every single day might be far fetched for you right now, then start do once a week. You can do something once a week that's going to aid you in, in getting to where you want to be. And then that once a week turns into twice a week, then three times a week, then four times a week. Next thing you know, every day you're going to be doing something. You ain't got to spend a whole day. You ain't got to spend eight hours. You ain't got to spend. It could be something as little as 10 to 20 minutes. Right now I've been recording this podcast. I'm on like 11 minutes, something like that. Yeah. Probably be edited down, but hey, 11 minutes. So let's just say 10. You know what I mean? But I'm doing something. When you do something every day that's in alignment with your goals and your your dreams and how you want to get there and you're putting them, you're putting a puzzle. It's like putting a puzzle piece together. You're like putting one piece every. That's, that's great. It's like putting a puzzle piece together, man. So like every day when you do something that's that's getting into that's getting you to your goals. The puzzle piece that you put down every day. God puts like two or three of them Jones down. <laughs> yeah, every I'm going to say it again. Being in alignment and taking action on what you're trying to do is like putting a puzzle piece down. And when you put your puzzle piece down every day, obviously it's going to grow because you're doing one puzzle piece a day, maybe two puzzle pieces a day if you got the time. God is like doubling that John, tripling that John. You put one down, you're going to put two or three. Put two down, you're going to put three or four. It's Man, listen, it's amazing. And it's an amazing feeling. And it brings you joy. And I'm only speaking from experience. Like, it's definitely bringing, like, being in this space definitely brings me joy. And it keeps me excited. Because a lot of times we lose excitement when we're, 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 we're trying to achieve a new goal, right? You get into an excitement phase after, like, you got the idea. All right, I'm excited about it. I want to do this. I want to do that. All right, cool. And the next you know, that excitement wears off and you stop working. But when you continuously put even something small, every like as a puzzle, every day, just do one every day, something small every day towards your goals. And then you see you just be consistent with that. And then you see how God pours in to your your vision and your goal the vision and goals he gave you when you see how he pours into it on top of what you're doing bruh i I don't see how nobody can not continue to move when that happens i don't like it's just it's it, for me i guess it's impossible it's impossible for me to not do something when i see that it's not just me working it's not I'm not by myself. It's not just me doing this. It's, he didn't give me this vision to for me to figure it out on my own. Right. He gave me this vision so that way I can act on it. And once I act on it, he's putting so many more puzzle pieces together for me. Like I said, if I man, yo, if I get this man, I'm not going to speak on it right now as far as like who it is something like that. But I, w- I promise you, I will, regardless if it happens or not. But if I get this man to write my forward, yo, I'm a man. Listen. And that'd be so amazing. So amazing. And it'd be nothing but God. I know it will. So, um, but like I said, I'm gonna do my part. I'm gonna try. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to be strategic. I'm trying to figure out how to get in front of this man's face and get him aware of me and what I'm doing. And once that happens, you know what I mean? Then I'll pose the question and stuff like that. But we'll see. Like I said, but do something every day. Continue to be in alignment. Continue to take action. Continue to take action every day. It could be the smallest thing. Just do it. The smallest thing is going to get you that much further. Smallest thing. Did I say that in my book? I don't know, but I got a Drake line. When he said, it's the little actions that make you a king. Then the little everyday actions. I don't know. I use a Drake line in my book. I'm not sure if it was that one or not. I'm not going to hold you. But it's the little actions, yo. The little things. The little things every day. The little things every day. Put a puzzle piece together. Put a puzzle piece together. Put a puzzle piece together. 
That's it. One puzzle piece a day. And that puzzle going to get done. I promise you. It might take a minute because you're doing one a day, but hey, it's going to get done. And then eventually that one a day is going to turn to two a day. And then on three a day, four a day. Next thing you know, you're going to be putting, you're going to be able to sit there for an hour or two a day because you got the time and the finances and you worked out your schedule and stuff like that. You'll be able to put a lot of puzzle pieces together. So imagine if, if God is doubling and tripling your puzzle pieces and you're only doing one and two and he, he giving you four or five. Imagine what it's going to be when you're able to put like 20 of them Jones down. Bro, listen, man, listen, that's all I got to say today. I'm going to continue to drink my tea. Um, I hope everybody have a great day or, whenever you or a great night, great morning, whatever. Whenever you listen to this, like I said, this is the morning for me. I'm about to finish this up and go to work a little bit after I get my kiddos up. But, man, listen, stay in alignment. Do something every single day. Put one, even if it's just one puzzle piece, do that every single day. And I promise you, you'll get your goals, bro. You'll get your goals. Um, but like I said, it was going to be a mini episode today. So that's all I got. I hope y'all, um, like I said, I hope y'all have a blessed, wonderful day. I hope y'all stay in alignment. I hope y'all find your passion, find your vision, find your purpose. And act on it, man. But I appreciate y'all listening. Um, like I said, follow, follow the IG page. Um, follow us on the description of the video and description of the um podcast. Um, follow the IG page. I just made a TikTok, so I'm kind of new there, but I'm trying to get that going. Um, and obviously the YouTube. And for those of y'all just listening, I post videos up on YouTube. And I got a series for y'all coming too. It's gonna be on YouTube. I don't know if I'm gonna put it like on the podcast or not, or if I'm gonna just make it separate. But that's in the works. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I appreciate y'all listening. Have a blessed day. That's all I got. Peace.